Dear students, welcome to the new semester Transforms and Boundary Volume Problem. In Unit 1, we are going to deal with Partial Differential Equation. First of all, I thank everybody for a great support for my channel and I am expecting the same in future. Let us go into the session. Unit 1 consists of Partial Differential Equations. Before going to PDE, let us have some basic notations which we are going to use throughout the unit. Suppose I am taking Z is a function of X and Y. Here Z is depending on X and Y. So Z is a dependent variable. X and Y are independent variables. In semester 1, we already learned the difference between a normal differentiation and partial differentiation. So now I am differentiating Z partially with respect to X. We get dou Z by dou X. I am going to notate this as P. Similarly, dou Z by dou Y, I am going to give a notation Q. Next, second order partial derivatives of Z. I am going to differentiate Z twice. So, I have three options. dou square Z by dou x square, dou square z by dou x dou y or dou square z by dou y dou x. We know both are equal. And finally, we have dou square z by dou y square. Since we have exhausted p and q for dou z by dou x and dou z by dou y, we are going to use the next alphabets that is p, q, r, s, t. p and q are already assigned. We are going to use r, s, t for the second order partial derivatives. I am going to assume r for dou square z by dou x square, s for dou square z by dou x dou y and t for dou square z by dou y square. Next, we have to know some basic equations. The general equation of plane is ax plus by plus cz equal to d or people say ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0. You can take whatever you like. Then the equation of a plane passing through origin is going to be ax plus by plus cz equal to 0. That means when the plane passes through origin, the constant d will become 0. Then equation of a plane in intercept form. It is very easy. We remember in our school days x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equal to 1. This is the equation of plane in intercept form. And next equation of sphere for a given radius r and center a b c x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square plus z minus c whole square is equal to r square. So, these are all some basics which is required for our problem solving purposes. With this, we go into the content. What is partial differential equation? A equation which involves partial derivatives of a function with respect to two or more independent variables. So, as I said, z is a function of x and y. So, here x and y are independent variable and z is a dependent variable depending on both x and y. And it is not necessary always we have two independent variables. We can have more than two independent variables. Suppose w is a function of x, y, z. So, here x, y, z are independent variables. w is depending on this x, y, z. Now, the first part of the syllabus, you will be given an equation. Now, we have to find the partial differential equation for a given problem. Here, we have two methods. The first one is, we are going to eliminate the constants from the given equation to find the partial differential equation. For example, u is equal to ax plus by. Here, our job is to eliminate this a and b from the equation by differentiating partially with respect to x or y. The second method is Elimination of arbitrary functions. Here, instead of constant, you will be given a function. For example, u is equal to f of x plus y plus 2 times f of x minus y. Here, I want to eliminate the function f of x plus y and f of x minus y. If the number of arbitrary constants are equal to number of independent variables, suppose I am taking the equation z is equal to ax plus by. Here, z is a function of x and y. So, I have two constants a, b and two independent variables x and y. If the number of arbitrary constants that is to be eliminated, if it is equal to number of independent variables, then the resulting PDE is always first order. You know what is order? All these things we learned in ordinary differential equation. 
if the number of arbitrary constant it is going to be greater than the number of independent variable i cannot eliminate all the constant in one partial differentiation i have to do more than one partial differentiation so it is going to be second order or higher order depending on the constants the more constant we have we have to go for higher order the number of arbitrary function eliminated equals to the order of the resulting pde so this is the note we have to remember which is very much helpful for problem solving purposes let us go into the topic so in this session we are going to eliminate constants from the given equation to form the partial differential equation let us take an example we have to find the partial differential equation by eliminating the constants a and b for us the given equation is z equal to ax plus by my aim is to eliminate this a and b see here in the given problem z is a function of x and y where z is dependent x and y are independent variables so the number of independent variables and number of constants to be eliminated are the same now the problem ends with first order let us take the given equation as 1 let us consider z equal to ax plus by is equation 1 now i have to differentiate one partially with respect to x do z by do x i will be getting a because differentiation of x is 1 in second term there is no x so it is 0 and we already assume in the basics do z by do x is nothing but p so i get p equal to a so now i can eliminate the constant a by replacing a with p p is nothing but do z by do x next differentiating one partially again with respect to y we get do z by do y that is going to be simply b because the first term does not have y so we are going to get do z by do y is b so we simply say this as q equal to b the problem is almost done because i want to eliminate a and b i found a is equal to p and b is equal to q now substitute a and b in equation 1 and we get z is equal to px plus qy this is the required partial differential equation you see p means do z by do x q means do z by do y so the required partial differential equation is first order it has partial differentiation of z with respect to x and y alone hope you understand students let us do few more problems which lift your confidence much more now this is going to be very very easy z is equal to ax plus by plus a square plus b square so a and b are constant i am going to take as usual that is as equation 1 now differentiating one partially with respect to x we get do z by do x is again a so p equal to a similarly if you do partial differentiation with respect to y we get do z by do y is equal to b that is q equal to b now substituting a equal to p b equal to q in one we get z equal to px plus qy plus p square plus q square which is my required partial differential equation and you should not mislead that always eliminating constant we get p equal to a and q equal to b these two problems are luckily similar so we get like this so let us solve few more problems eliminate the constant a and b for the given equation so let us take this equation as equation 1 now differentiate one partially with respect to x do z by do x that is going to be 2 into x minus a second term does not have x so it is going to be 0 we know that do z by do x is p p is equal to 2 into x minus a and we have to listen carefully i want to eliminate the constant means you should not always think to eliminate a and b here i can eliminate this full term also so what i am going to do i am going to take p by 2 is equal to x minus a so instead of x minus a i am going to substitute p by 2 hope you understand now differentiate one partially with respect to y we get do z by do y that is first term 0 then the second term 2 into y minus b so q is equal to 2 into y minus b 
So we take this as y minus b is equal to q by 2. Now we are ready to eliminate the constant. Instead of eliminating the constant alone, I am eliminating the whole term here. I am going to replace x minus a by p by 2. So z equal to p by 2 whole square and y minus b by q by 2. So z equal to p by 2 whole square plus q by 2 whole square. So my z is p square plus q square by 4. My final solution is 4 z is equal to p square plus q square. So we have eliminated the constants a and b and you can see here we have two constants and two independent variable x and y. Therefore my final solution the PD is first order. Hope you got the point and let us do one more problem. Here we have two terms which are in multiplication. So we have to be careful when we do differentiation. Let us take the equation as 1 and differentiate 1 partially with respect to x. Dou z by dou x is going to be 2x and this term is considered to be constant because it does not have any x and it is multiplied with this term y square plus b square. Now again my aim is to eliminate the constant either separately or with some variables. Here you can see y square plus b square is there. So now I want to eliminate the whole term y square plus b square. From the above equation I can write this as p by 2x. Next differentiate 1 partially with respect to y. We get dou z by dou y. Now x square plus a square is constant because it does not have any y terms. When you differentiate this we get 2y. Now we know this is q and we take this 2y to the denominator we get x square plus a square. Now substituting the values p by 2x and q by 2y here we get the solution by eliminating the constants a and b. Therefore substituting this equation 2 and 3 in 1 we get z is equal to p by 2x into q by 2y. So I can rewrite this as 4xy z is equal to pq. This is the differential equation for the given problem. Hope you understand students how to eliminate the constants from the given equation. In the next session, we are going to see some problems where the equations are not given but some theoretical statements are given to you. From this, we have to form the equation and then we have to find the corresponding partial differential equation. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.